Hi everyone, welcome back to Rose Stops Buying Stuff. I just want to first of all say thank you so much for all your lovely comments this week. Every other video up till now had been pre-recorded so this is the first video that I've recorded for going live with my video every day this week. Yeah, I just, I really really appreciate them. And a few of you were asking about Sansa, she is still around but she's basically outside quite a lot now. She's, um, we've got little cats that have moved in a few doors down and she's out guarding her territory most of the time these days. So yeah, she's not, um... She's not sleeping about as much, but I imagine once it gets into the colder weather she'll be sleeping on my bed most of the day as usual. So I feel quite confident that I can promise she will be back. Anyway, today we are going into my skincare empties. As I said, of the three empties videos that there's been this week, this is definitely the biggest. As you can see, there's two boxes of stuff to get through, so we'll just get right on into it. <laughs> First of all, as you can see, I've laid out here some sachet samples. I'm not going to talk about these. I never really feel you can get that much from a sachet. You can basically just tell if you're allergic to something or if you don't like the texture. And that didn't happen with any of these. There was none of these that I used and was like, I really dislike this. But there was also none that I would rush out to repurchase. Obviously, in terms of the Origins Clean Improvements, I have full sizes of that mask. But that aside, yeah, I would use any of these again wouldn't rush out to repurchase any of them either though but in terms of my reverse rouge total I used 14 of these sachet samples that are worth a dollar each and in terms of my overall challenge of trying to reduce my stash by three thousand dollars this year fourteen dollars just to kick us off with I'm so glad I can actually like get on with throwing these things out now well I will recycle them I will dispose responsibly. Okay, so let's go into this box. The first thing I'll just talk about quickly is this, which I just put in again at a dollar, and this is from my perfume category, and it's obviously the um, Mugler Alien perfumes. I do like this. I have a full size of it, and yeah, I think that really sums up how I feel about this fragrance. So I finished that worth a dollar. Next up, I finished the Body Shop Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Contrary to the name, I found this really stung my eyes. I had to be very, very careful when I was using it not to get it like near my actual kind of the opening of my eyelids. I had to keep my eyes very tightly closed and just kind of swab it over the lid. I couldn't use it on my mascara or anything. So I definitely wouldn't repurchase this and it was worth $4.32 towards my reverse rouge total. I would repurchase this one, the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes and lips. So I just used it as an eye makeup remover. This was worth $4.68 towards my reverse rouge total. I like this one, it didn't irritate me. I probably will repurchase either the Lancome one or I'm thinking about giving the number 7 one another go. I've not had that for a few years but it's obviously a bit more budget friendly than the Lancome one but yeah if I had this again I would use it up again. Um, I really like the cleansing balm from this range. Generally quite pro this take the day off range. In terms of general makeup remover I finished this the body shop one. Um, again, it's from the chamomile range and this was the cleansing butter. It was worth $16 towards my total and I did like this. Again, wasn't a huge fan of it around my eyes, but it was less stingy than the eye makeup remover. I could definitely get through it. Um, so yeah, if I if I got this again, I would use it up again, but I also, like, there's other things that just don't irritate me at all. So I would obviously repurchase them over this. A little bit better, a bit more zoomed in. So the one I would repurchase, again, you can you can tell um, in terms of how far in advance these things were filmed. Um, we started the week off with my awful at-home job, then we took it off. Then I had my nails done and it was so long ago now that they've actually started to grow out and they're getting done again tomorrow. So yeah, just really timed this week terribly for being a bunch of overhead videos when my nails are not in a presentable state, but whatever, lockdown life. But what I would repurchase um, makeup remover wise was this one from Origins, this was their original skin so this is just a little mini one obviously. This was worth $3.45 towards my reverse rouge total and this doesn't irritate me at all so I definitely would repurchase this one and I have the full size of this one as well. Moving on to cleanser, this was the Kiehl's Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. Um, this was worth $23 towards my reverse rouge total. I am kind of in two minds at the moment. I feel like I might repurchase this just to have it in stock, but my skin used to be super oily and this was like, I loved this cleanser for that when my skin was that kind of super oily way, but it seems to have been calming down over the last year. I'm probably still on the oilier side, but 
not as much as I was and although I'm oily I'm also dehydrated so generally I'm not needing these kind of products as much anymore and I feel like my skin's just chilled out a little bit um, probably a sign of getting older. I don't know, I still like this, it's like a clay based cleanser, it was exfoliating um, and it, yeah I did like it, if I, if I got it again I would definitely use it up but I would probably use it as a sort of once a week exfoliating cleanser rather than everyday cleanser, I think it would probably be a bit too much for my skin now but yeah I did really do like it and if you're very oily definitely one worth checking out. Another cleanser I've finished, again this is a mini, it's worth oops, throwing the bottom bit away but whatever. It's worth 2 35 and it was the Origins Checks and Balances. I've spoken about this before, I find this really really strips my skin, it leaves it feeling really tight, I really really don't like it and I actually use these up. I think this is actually my last mini of this cleanser um, because Origins give them out a lot. I think it's like their star cleanser but it just really disagrees with me. So I actually use it up as body wash and even using it like on my underarms and things I can feel it tightening the skin there so don't think it's Although it's supposed to be balancing, I really don't think it's great for anyone who's on the sort of dehydrated side, but yeah. I finished it up so we get the money towards my reverse rouge total and that is what counts. In terms of toner, I finished up this from Kiehl's, it's their Clearly Corrective Clarity Activating Toner, so it's their vitamin C brightening toner, worth $42 towards my total. I do really like this toner. I feel like I shouldn't want to repurchase it because it's quite expensive for what it is, but I do quite like it. I like the way it makes my skin feel, but I would quite like to find maybe a more sort of budget friendly version. You know, I feel like it's just a nice sort of hydrating toner that I'm treating it as rather than kind of being a super sort of targeted brightening toner. But to be honest, I do like Kiehl's as a brand and I could see me repurchasing this even though it's one of those ones I feel like before, like the idea of finding an alternative to this would have really interested me and I'd have been researching similar toners and things. And I feel like now I'm kind of just like, I just like this one and it, it's a lot of money for what it is but I like it kind of thing. I've also, not in this video, but I've actually finished the Pixi Vitamin C Toner which is what I started using when I finished this one and I just didn't really feel the same about it and honestly like th this thought of kind of doing all the experimenting with similar toners at a lower price point to see if any of them are any good, it just doesn't fill me with the joy that it once would have done. I feel like I just want my skincare to work and for me to know that it works and to just kind of not, I don't mean not be excited about it and I don't mean I'm not excited about it because I love skincare and like I still do enjoy beauty and I don't want it to come across like I don't but I'm glad I don't feel the way that I did because I was very obsessive about it so I feel like I'm in a much more sort of normal place and I feel like I'm still more excited about makeup than I am about skincare and I think that's quite a good thing because you know I think I'm kind of finding my skincare routine and you know I'm quite happy with my sort of core products and long story short I feel like this is expensive for what it is but I probably will repurchase it. I've called this an essence Dr. Jar um, Cerem- is it Ceramidin because it's ceramides like ceramide ceramidin ceramidin I don't know you can see what it is so it's their liquid which they sell this as a liquid, I think they do call it like a toner and then they have a serum in this same range and then they have the actual moisturisers. I did really really like this, I've actually repurchased my Kiehl's Iris Essence that I'm using in the place that I would have used this. I know that I really like that product, that was a repurchase. I'm going to see how my skincare as it currently is sits and then see if I need something that's just an extra hydrating step and if I did I would be quite tempted to bring this in as that sort of boost in hydration because I did feel that it worked in my skin but it's quite lightweight it doesn't make my skin feel like I put another like heavy layer on because it is just their sort of liquid toner essence step it's not another serum or another moisturizer like particularly in the morning because who has time in the morning honest god can't be dealing with that definitely would be up for potential repurchase. That essence was worth $2.60 towards my reverse rouge total. So speaking of Pixie, I also finished up this vitamin C serum which is the same range as the toner that I finished up. This was fine, I purchased the Inkey List one, you've seen that already. If you've watched my most recent money diary, you know I will, you'll also know I have 
repurchase the Inky List one. So I feel like for a budget one, the Inky List one is fine. I do feel like I'll go back. I feel like I just sound like a Kiehl's fangirl here, but I feel like I'll probably go back to my Kiehl's one and I'm interested in trying the Drunk Elephant one. I thought this was fine, but I didn't see a massive difference in my skin using it. No reactions, wouldn't put anyone who's really keen to try it off trying it, but didn't blow my mind either and this was worth $26 towards my reverse rouge total. Worth $12.24 I finished Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This was fine. Drunk Elephant's quite expensive and you know the fact it is like a one ingredient product and I don't know I can't really see me rushing out to purchase this. I don't mind a facial oil. It's not top of my list and the one that I really like is the Sicily black rose facial oil which is also really expensive but I feel like if I was gonna get spendy with a facial oil I would go to Sizzly over this one. I should also just mention as well I was actually using my Kiehl's oils and that's ones I'm trying to finish and in terms of not sounding like a Kiehl's fan girl I don't love that oil so I probably won't repurchase that one. There we go just something from Kiehl's that I don't like because I feel like I've just sounded like a Kiehl's advert for most of this video which I'm sadly not, they're not paying me for anything. But yet somebody left a comment on my Instagram saying to use this up because it goes off really quickly. Um, so mine hadn't gone off as far as I could tell when I was using it up, but it's also just another kind of point against it because I feel like it takes you so long, well it takes me so long to use facial oils because you only need a couple of drops. So again, if it's going to turn really quickly as well as being expensive, like just another reason that I can't ever see me purchasing the full size of this. On to moisturiser, I finished this Caudalie Reservatol Lift and it was worth 25 38 towards my reverse rouge total. I actually really like this, it, the way it made my skin look, it gave it a sort of, it wasn't like shiny, it wasn't like a, there wasn't like a luminosity, you know, like mixed into it. It wasn't like that, but it kind of gave my skin, made my skin look quite luminous. So I, I actually really like the way this made my skin look. The only thing is that the formula kept separating in the tube and I kept having to shake it off every time I was using it. Now, obviously I have been on an obi for 2018-2019 and we're now over halfway through 2020, as terrifying as that is. So I can't remember when I actually got this, but it was before my obi started. So the, the formula issue may just well have been because it was old um, so I don't want to kind of put anyone off trying it. I would go have a look at it in store and see how the formula is in store if it's if it comes out and it's just one consistency because sometimes I would squeeze it a big bit of water would come out and then like a dot of cream separately which was not the most pleasant but I did really like the way it made my skin look so depending on consistency this could be a potential repurchase. Another one from the Dr. Jar um, Ceramidin range. This was the moisturiser worth $15 towards my reverse rouge total. I really really like this. Probably a little bit heavier than is ideal for my skin. I would use it at night not during the day but it's really really good when my eczema flares up. It really calms it down, doesn't disrupt it, doesn't irritate it. So I am quite a big fan of this range from what I've tried of it. It does seem to really agree with my skin so I actually have another one of these and it's the sort of thing I think I could potentially purchase in the future. Another thing I would definitely repurchase is this from La roche -Posay. it's the Effaclar K. Really good if you have oily skin. As I say, my skin's not as oily as it used to be, but this is still a really nice lightweight moisturiser. It sinks in really quickly, it does the job, like your skin doesn't get dehydrated when you're using it, but it doesn't get overwhelmed, it helps keep it matte for most of the day. And I really, really like this. So yeah, 31 49 towards my reverse rouge total. And it's something I've repurchased. It was a repurchase in itself um, from before my no buy. And it's something I would continue to repurchase in the future. Something I definitely would not repurchase is this from Lixier Skin. Now, I think I got this free with Marie Claire or something. So I didn't actually purchase it in the first place. But I would have massively regretted it if I had done. This is their Universal Emulsion. It was worth... $11.60 towards my reverse rouge. I hated the consistency of this. I hated the smell of this. In terms of what it did for my skin, I couldn't moan, but it didn't seem to do anything amazing. If it had done wonders for my skin, I would have put up with the smell and the consistency. I can't even describe what I didn't. It just made my skin crawl. I did not like it at all. I actually ended up using it up as a hand cream just to be rid of it quicker. I had it in work and just used it on my hands kind of every time I went to the bathroom or whatever just to be rid of it. On to face masks. I finished this one from Kiehl's. It's worth $7.28 towards my reverse rouge total. Their cilantro and orange extract pollution 
pollutant defending mask. I have a few of these minis and I have the full size of this mask. This smells lovely which is its main selling point and it does seem to really hydrate the skin even though that's not what it claims to do. I enjoy this mask. The problem I have with this mask is that you can't really tell if it's defending your skin from pollution or not. You just kind of have to use it and hope that it is. I feel like when this mask came out it was very near the start of a sort of wave of pollution defending products coming into skincare and I feel like now that there's like SPFs and things that have pollution defendant in them it's something that you're kind of choosing to defend yourself against that may or may not work and I would rather be defending myself against it and it does work because nothing lost if it doesn't work anyway but I feel like now I would rather because it is a bit more widespread than it was when this product first launched I would rather have it in like an SPF or something that I'm using every day while I'm out and about rather than a mask that you put on last thing at night. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, I will finish up the ones I've got of these but I probably wouldn't repurchase this as a skincare product. And the other mask that I used up was this from Gold Fad and MD and this is their facial detox mask. This is kind of similar to the Origins Out of Trouble mask which is very very good for if you've got spots that are kind of under the surface and you need to bring them out to the head if your skin is like irritated and red and bumpy but not moving past that stage to actually come out to the surface of the skin and be able to move on. The Origins one is really really good and this is similar but just not quite as good as the Origins one and I imagine also more expensive because this was worth $4.78 towards my reverse rouge total so yeah I imagine the Origins one in terms of the full sizes is financially better and in terms of my skin it's also performed better so I wouldn't repurchase this one over that. And that is us clear of box one. So on to box two which looks very full but I feel like there's less product in here, they're just bigger products. So sheet masks, $2.50 I finished this Anatomicals off with their black and white heads. Um, botanical purifying tea tree face mask. I did really like this. I generally like sort of tea tree or charcoal based face masks particularly around my period. Again because I get as I was just saying with the the Origins mask that I like because a lot of my spots tend to come around my jawline and they are hormonal quite often they stay under the surface and need to be like coaxed out to actually be able to get moving on. Masks like this are really really good for helping that process along um, so yeah, I did, I like this one and I would repurchase it. And the other sheet mask that I finished was this one from Origins. It's their Flower Fusion Radiance Boosting Sheet Mask. This was worth $7 towards my reverse rouge total. I feel like it was fine. Probably $7 is more than I would want to spend on a single use sheet mask. I think these are £5 to buy in the UK. And yeah, they're a nice treat, but like, and I've said this before, but in terms of like most sheet masks, there is definitely the odd exception where I notice a massive, massive difference. I feel like most sheet masks are just a nice boost to hydration and a bit of radiance off the back of that hydration. And I do feel like there are more affordable ways and like, you know, a box of 10 for £15 or whatever is obviously far more financially better than buying them at £5 or $7. Go. I feel like you get kind of the same result. It's very much something that helps in the moment so great before you know a night out or whatever or if your skin just needs that boost but it's not doing anything long term for your skin so at seven dollars for a single use that is quite a lot of money if it adds up if you're buying them all the time so yeah I would I would use this again if somebody bought me one that's the sort of thing I'm probably going to try and spend less money on going forward. Well look who obviously knew everyone was missing her and took a break from her busy schedule of defending the back garden to come in and have a seat in the middle of my, my filming set up. Oh, no, that was all you again. She's, she's heading back out. Stand connected. She's not heading back out. She's just um, going to park herself on the floor instead of on the bed because that's so much comfier, obviously. Isn't it? Hello. What are you seeing? Oh, now we're going, we're going under here. She quite likes under here ever since I did my, since I cleared out and there's now not stuff under here that's um, B12 
become another another little space spawner. So yeah, there she is. Obviously knew she'd been missed. Decided to grace us with her presence. Okay, so uh, b back to the video. So if you hear cat purring, that is why she is now under my dressing table. So I finished up this, it was worth $10. It's one of those um, double scrubs that I actually got it from the place that I used to get waxed at. Not used to, hopefully we'll go back to it at some point on a whole other tangent. I'm like, there's some really good offers for laser hair removal going on at the moment because obviously they've really suffered during lockdown. Really keen to, to start that again just to see if it would work because I've already had the six sessions so right let's not get let's not go down that tangent um so I finished this it was worth ten dollars and it was one that was for ingrown hairs so it's got a kind of um you put it on dry skin and let it sit and it's got a chemical exfoliant as well as manual exfoliant which is my preferred type in terms of like ingrown hairs and things which I do get quite a lot because as a discussed before I've got very coarse body hair which is why I would like it lasered away altogether. So yeah I like this, would repurchase it. I have similar scrubs, I'm using the Ameliorate one at the moment um, which I really like and I've potentially repurchased that and I can get that more easily because I can get that in Space NK whereas this I don't actually know where I would buy it, I only got it directly from my waxing place before. I'm sure I could find it online or whatever. I must have done to get a price for it. I would use it again, I would buy it again, but I'll probably get the one that's more easily accessible when I have finished up all my other ones and the time comes to repurchase one. Shower gels. I finished this one from Kiehl's, which is their bath and shower liquid body cleanser in the coriander fragrance. Now, I'm not a massive coriander fan in terms of eating it. I didn't really think this smelled like coriander. I just thought it smelled really clean. I really, really like the fragrance of this. I would definitely, definitely repurchase it. This was the big one, the 500ml size, and that was worth $25 towards my reverse rouge. As I said, in terms of it's like the same as sheet masks and whatever like you're literally just washing your body with your shower gel so probably like luxury not Kiehl's isn't luxury it's kind of it's high end but it's, it's not like like it's I mean it's not luxury in terms of comparison to like Sizzly but it's it's more expensive than drugstore but it's not at that drunk elephant price either do you know what I mean it's kind of somewhere in the middle but even then it's it's still quite expensive for a shower gel. You can get one in the supermarket Let's Be Real for less than five pounds. That's probably the same size. I did really like it and I would, if somebody bought me this as a gift, it's the sort of thing I would really like as a gift because I did really, really enjoy it and it was lovely and you don't need a lot of it and it lasted a really long time, but ultimately I don't think fancy shower gels are something that in terms of my budget going forward is something I'm gonna be replacing, so yeah. Would love to have it again, probably won't pay for it again. Having said that, I would potentially purchase this. So this was a little sample shower gel. So this was worth, oh, it was actually worth $5, which means the full size is probably very expensive, probably not massively worth it. But this is the Aura by Migler. So as I said at the start, actually, because I'd used the Alien sample, I really like Alien, I own Alien. I don't own this perfume, I've just, I've obviously got this shower gel in a goodie bag or something I don't even know. One of those things that you accumulate if you are somebody who shops regularly when there's like gifts with purchases and things. So it was probably in like a Debenhams gift with purchase goodie bag if you spend over whatever or something like that. Because that's how I seem to have accumulated so many samples. But this smelled so good. I've not smelt the fragrance and I don't know if they really tie in or not because I've got my Guerlain Mon Guerlain shower gel as well as having the body lotion and the perfume. And I wouldn't say I get a massive scent off of the shower gel and it's in probably like shower gels that match your perfume are again not really worth investing in because you just enjoy the scent in the shower and it doesn't cling to your body or anything but I did really really like the smell of this so again I don't know how much the full size of this is and I probably wouldn't actually repurchase it but I would quite like it as a gift one of those scenarios so yeah I really really enjoyed that shower gel for the small amount of time that I had that little sample to use so on to body moisturizers I finished this one from Bath and Body Works $13.50 and I did really like this. I would say it, this is this is me maybe getting slightly unhealthily obsessed with like beauty rehab stuff. Um, 
but I don't know if you can see there is still product in there but this is glass you kind of get to a point where you can't actually get to any more of that product like on a plastic bit packaging there would be a stopper that you could take out and it would kind of let you get to more like you can't do that with this one so I've got everything out of this that I could get out of it but it does feel frustrating that I can see that there is still product in there that I've not been able to access whereas the likes of my Kiehl's one for example which is up next I've been able to cut open and get right into it. So to get back to this I did really like the scent. I would happily use it again. I don't think the packaging is ideal and I feel like back in the day Bath and Body Works was like because and you still can't get Bath and Body Works here, it's actually one of the few brands that you can't get here. But I used to go to America and just go absolutely mad and spend hundreds of dollars buying loads of things in Bath and Body Works. That the scents are nice and whatever, but if I'm on holiday and I've saved up that money in advance, and if I'm going to spend it anyway, I would rather go buy. Like, that's the sort of situation where I'd rather go buy a luxury shower gel or body lotion or whatever rather than loads and loads of Bath and Body Works ones. I think if I lived in America. I'd buy loads of Bath & Body Works because it's so affordable and there's always offers but I feel like in terms of the way that I used to go and like drop so much money in Bath & Body Works buying candles and body lotions and they're really heavy in your case as well for taking back so they're not an ideal thing to be buying on holiday. Yeah I feel like the appeal, I, I feel like I will always go to Bath & Body Works and just have a sniff of the candles and see what's new but I feel like the appeal that used to be there for me in terms of the excitement of getting things that you couldn't get at home, it's kind of worn off a little bit. So yeah, I'm probably, I would use it again, but I'm probably not going to actually buy it again. Especially in the current climate, because God knows when I'm getting back to America. <laughs> Can't remember if I've said or not, but we have had our New York holiday officially cancelled. So that's a bit of a bummer. And... We don't know if we can get our money back. We got our flight money back because BA cancelled the flights but our hotel is still in operation and yeah. That's a whole other bit of chat so yeah. But basically yeah I have no idea when I will next be in America to even go to a Bath and Body Works. I mentioned the Kiehl's one so let's do that next. This is the Kiehl's Creme Decor. So this was 250ml size worth 29.50 towards my reverse rouge total. I've used up many of these over the years and it's a, it's a really nice basic body lotion. It just does what it says in the tin, keeps you moisturised. It's not the fastest at sinking in but it's not the worst either. So yeah as long as you put it on. I like to put my body lotions on and then I like brush my teeth and faff about and it does sink in so it's it's not the worst but it's also not like you put it on and you're dry like 10 seconds later so it's not the most ideal one in the mornings but I do really like it and it does really perform on the skin. I mentioned the Mondrian actually so this was a little mini I had of the body lotion so I've got the full size as well but I decided to just use this up and try and get it moved out. So this was worth $7.80 for this little body lotion and yeah I really like it. As I say I've got the full size. This was a scent that I went off for a while because my gran wore it like obsessively for a while because I had so many bottles at one point and I gave her like a big bottle and my gran's the kind of person like I switch about my perfumes. My gran just has a bottle and uses it until it's done and I get so fed up smelling it because she was wearing it all the time but she's not had it for a while now and I've come back round to it and I'm really enjoying it again so that's been one of my scents of my summer rotations and I've been using my shower gel as well and my body lotion and the perfume um throwing it away but this little mini is the only one that I've actually finished but yeah in terms of repurchasing I do think the body lotion that matches your scent is a nice step to have it's obviously an extra it's not essential but there's something that does make me feel quite indulgent and quite fancy when I'm using my my Mongerland shower gel body lotion and perfume so yeah probably would repurchase this or would really appreciate like a gift set that had the body lotion in with it so yeah I would like this back in my life once I finish my full size. Something I would not like back in my life is this from Soap and Glory. It's their Armageddon. This was worth $13 towards my reverse rouge total. It's a serum um, and it's got EHAs in it so I'm quite into that but I hated the smell of this. It was just and I would not repurchase it because there are enough nicely scented or even unscented body lotions out there. You know I said I'm using the Ameliorate Exfoliator, I'm also using the body lotion at the moment and that's got AHAs in it so there are plenty of other options out there 
that I don't need to put up with this smell so I shall not be putting up with this smell ever again but I am glad to have used it and not just wasted it. Okay on to hand products. This was worth $9.50 and it's from Karuna and it's their Age Define Plus hand mask so it was just like a sheet mask but for your hands it's just like a little pair of gloves that you put on i did quite like this but i feel like i had these on yeah you're supposed to keep it on for 10 to 20 minutes and like i mean it's fine if you're the sort of person who sits still but i tend to sit on my phone and whatever when i'm watching things on television and that's probably a shortcoming and i need to be better at focusing Um, i've actually i had two phones for a while it was all a bit ridiculous um, but one of them has completely broken and the other one is nearly four years old because the other one was a bit dodgy from the day and hour I got it which was why I kept the old one but the old one doesn't really keep battery anymore so I'm just basically waiting for Apple to release their new phone hopefully this month. Yeah my old phone now doesn't really keep battery so I'm having to keep it plugged in a lot and I'm not on my phone as much which is really quite nice so maybe even now versus you know a few months ago when I used this up I would feel differently but I felt like it was quite a long time to not be able to use my hands for. I think I'd rather just use a really thick hand cream. It, it was nice and indulgent and whatever, but I can't see me, especially at 9.50 ago, um, I can't see me making these masks a regular part of my routine. In terms of an intensive hand cream, I finished up this one from L'Occitan. This was worth $1.50. Intensive hand balm for very dry skin. And I really like this and definitely, definitely would repurchase this one. I then used two products that the packaging has been thrown out. But to keep you in the loop, I used up the Scottish Fine Soaps Sea Kelp Hand Cream, which was worth $11.69. And I also used up the Soap and Glory Hand Food, which was a travel size 50ml, worth $4. So I finished both of them and again, they were fine. I really like L'Occitan Hand Cream, so I think they're some of the best. I got a Rituals one that I really like as well, so I feel like... I'd probably repurchase them over either of those two. And on to the last category, which is foot products. Seal Bigel Mentha Foot Cream, which was worth $14. I got this in Bath & Body Works actually, but you can get it in Liberty in the UK. And I would potentially buy this again. It was quite lightweight. It's not like a heavy, it, it's more like a gel. It's not like a cream as such. I did like it. It's nice. It's cooling, improves the smell of your feet. It's not too intensive. And I feel like my, my feet are quite dry and there's probably other foot creams that I've had that are a bit more intensive and a bit more performance driven in terms of that but as a sort of everyday maintenance cream this was fine and I liked the smell of it. I had the shower gel from this range before actually just while I'm kind of talking about shower gels that's maybe one I would repurchase because it still felt like a nice shower gel and I really liked as I say the smell of this a really nice invigorating one to use in the morning so I would maybe repurchase that kind of shower gel that's that sort of mid price without you know a little bit more than a sort of super basic shower gel but not super fancy either so yeah quite into Theo Bigelow as a brand so I have already talked about this and actually the phone that has died had before and after pictures of me using this on which were absolutely vile but very impressive in terms of what this did for my feet I already repurchased one of these and used it so I used this one I think back in like May and then I used another one in in July and it just made such a I mean your feet do literally peel it's like I thought it was going to be quite a kind of gimmicky thing um, but it was really really effective I was so impressed and I've kind of already hashed this out but like I think I will repurchase these they're not the most financially great way to approach exfoliating your feet but they are so effective and I quite like the idea of like using it and then once you've used it, it's done and moving it out and maybe using it once every two to three months or whatever to give your feet a good peel and then just maintaining that with foot cream the rest of the time. I used to use the Body Shop Drops of Youth peel for my feet and it's obviously, I think two of these is basically the price of one bottle of that and that would obviously give you more than two uses. It then is another product that's sitting, taking up space and I feel like the way I feel at the moment, I just kind of would like more space back so... Yeah, I feel like I'm going to keep repurchasing these for the time being. And that was worth $8 towards my reverse rouge total. Very last product in this video is from Sephora and it's their almond foot mask. I do really, really like these. Although I found, as I said, using the hand mask a bit annoying because I couldn't do anything with my hands for 20 minutes. If I can sit and be on my phone and watch television or whatever, having these on my feet doesn't bother me at all. And yeah, I think it's just nice to kind of give your feet that sort of intensive treatment every so often so obviously this one is from Sephora and I don't know 
when I will be back in a Sephora but hopefully at some point and I will repurchase these when I am. So that is everything across two boxes. That was 47 products all in um, including the 14 sachet samples. That was worth $415.16 towards my reverse rouge total. I did say skincare would be the big one of my empties videos. Thank you very much for watching and I shall speak to you in tomorrow's video which I haven't filmed yet and I don't know what I'm going to film but yeah come back tomorrow for a surprise that I don't even know what it is yet and I will see you in that video. Bye! You saying bye? <laughs> bye from Sansa. <laughs>